So, uh, what's your name, where are we and uh, what's your position? My name is Simon Hayes, I am a freelance designer working for the RSAMD on their productions in George 1 at the Edinburgh Festival. And which productions are you working on? Uh, First Lady Suite, Rocket Science and Jerry Springer. And are you the board up on all of those? I'm, or? I'm doing the board up as well. Let's see if we get in the festival vibe if you operate the shows as well. And how long do you have a turnaround between each of these? Turnaround is 45 minutes including 15 minutes of house opening. So it's reasonably tight with a bigger show right, such right. as Jerry. That would take and and what, sort of, what sort of stuff do you have to do in your turnaround? Is it extensive or? Um, well, unfortunately, well, fortunately enough, with the lighting wise, all I have to do is uh, regel, refocus, and basically, being a programmer as well, I'm, I'm constantly updating mm. the cues as well. But uh, the uh, stage management guys have a lot more to do in terms of turnaround for set and right. scenes. Right. So. Okay. So this is the first time you're using the orb in here. Yes. This is the first time you've ever used it. It's the first, second time oh. I've seen it actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> and and what have you used before? Um, my normal lighting desk would be the uh, ETC aisle, is my uh, desk of choice uh, okay. at the moment. Um, but fortunately for me, the, uh, the orb seems to be entering the realms of the aisle at the same right, time, right. so there's compatibility with programming uh -huh. between the consoles. I think um, it, it's, a, it's, it's a good console to enter into that sort of light, right, theatre right. lighting market who are using intelligent fixtures more intensively. Okay. And I mean, is the ETC a choice you've made because of the particular way it operates, or...? I think the ETC was a choice for me uh, on the be I, uh, from previous programming, that's kind of the consoles that I rolled along with, and that's right, the right. format which I am most at, at home with. Okay. So, that that reason, like, kind of the ion was a natural progression right. for that. So, how have you found the orb, and what have you liked about it, disliked about it? Um, I think at the moment with the orb, obviously, the 088 guys, the support that's been available to us on site because of the desk, just get, getting people used to it because obviously a rather unknown console is difficult yeah. to bring to a festival when you've got 40 different programmers who are all looking to use yeah. a new console. So I think that it's, the support offered by 088 on the console has been awesome so far in fixing problems as we go right. along the way. I think that I do, I do. I think some of the pro, like some of the, the more complex timing stuff is nice and straightforward to get into the console. Mm -hmm. I think some of the shortcuts are nice and easy. And having the uh, user definable keys at the top has been useful for some of my plotting stuff. Right. Just because I've been able to have that instantly at my fingertips and just define it as they're labelled up at the top all the time. So I find that quite a useful function. And I quite like having a playback master control and the speed dial back. Right. Take me back to my Cirrus 24 days. <laughs> uh, to have the control, the control dial on the top. I kind of like that function, especially with a fringe show when you don't really know what's going to happen next. Yeah, to yeah. With you. Sometimes you do have to <laughs> grapple, grapple back and just pull it back. But. So it's quite easy to busk with then as well? Uh, yes, yeah, so I think there's some of uh, I think the functions which are still on the, on the developing at the moment in the console will mm. help improve the busking ability. But luckily enough, most of my shows are theatre stack with kind of added colour chasing busking right. over the top. Nothing too high okay. tech for a fringe. <laughs> <laughs>